Hello students, my name is Parvati Adab. I am assistant professor at Bhavanasi Das University and School of Management. I am here to cover your topic of uh, forms of business organization, which comes under the business organization subject. Okay, so firstly, we would I would like to discuss the organization, then business organization, and then different forms of business organization so what organization is in linear language we can understand organization as a collection of people who comes together to achieve um, some common goal objectives and then what business organization is a collection of people working together to achieve common purpose in relation to their organization's mission vision goals objectives sharing a common organization culture then Single proprietorship is one of the form of business organization. Then we have partnership, then we have joint stock companies and different forms of companies. Then there are cooperatives. So first, I would like to start with single proprietorship. So single proprietorship is a form of business that is owned, managed and controlled by individual. It is simplest and the most numerous form of business organization. It is self-employed business owner is somewhere who conducts a trade business with the intent of making a profit the self-employed individual may conduct the business on a full-time basis or as a part-time venture so when we do talk about the self-employed business owner we need to understand here that self-employed business owner is a one of the type of sole proprietorship uh, in the previous slide we have talked about the single uh, proprietorship which uh, which means that it is owned and controlled by a single individual. So here, first one is the self-employed business owner. Another one is franchisee. A franchisee may also take on form of sole proprietorship. In a franchisee, the sole proprietor also referred as a franchisee who pays a fee to franchisor in exchange for the rights to use the company brand. And then the franchisee must also pay the franchisor royalty, which is typically a percentage of franchisee units gross sales. Right. Then... Uh, here, some advantage and disadvantages have been discussed that if, if we will talk about the advantages, first one is the ease of formation. An owner have the full control of the business and another one is the owner can freely mix personal assets with business assets. Owner has all the profits for himself or herself and this taxation is really very simple. Then, it, uh, then we will have to come to the disadvantages. First one is unlimited liability. Another one is the difficulty of raising additional capitals. And, uh, and the third one is owner's biases. Okay, so next one is partnership. So partnership is what that two or more person come together to, uh, you know, to contribute money, property or industry to common fund intention for dividing the profits among themselves so two or more person may also form a partnership for exercise of promotion so there are different type of partners one is general partner and the one is a limited partner general partners generally um, you know uh, liable for debts and lawsuits of the partnership and limited are one that who there is no participation in the day-to-day -day operation and not usually considered to have liabilities right so here is the definition of general partnership that it's an association of two or more person that carry on a co-owners of a business in order to generate a profit. The default rule is equally between all members and all way to exchange. This is a through a formal written agreement, right? So, and then one is the limited partnership that we have discussed in the earlier uh, slide that it is a uh, formed by two or more person and having more general partners or one or more limited partners Limited partners have no voice in the active management the limited partnership which is conducted by the general partner every limited partner's liability limited to the capital he has contributed to the partnership right so here uh, we have discussed about the advantages and the disadvantages of the partnership that one is easier to create than cooperation and better ability to acquire additional capital in sole proprietorship, right? And another one is the larger pool of human capital than sole proprietorship. Then here we have discussed about the disadvantages. One is the unlimited liability. Another one is the mutual agency. And third one is limited life, right? Um, then we will move forward towards corporation. So uh, here corporation uh, can be understood as it's an artificial being created by operation of law having the success right of succession and powers attributes and property uh, expressly authorized by law
or incident to its existence or we can understood corporation as it's a legal entity that is separate and distinct from its owners when we do talk about the law corporation possesses many of the same rights and responsibility as individual they can enter contact contract loan borrow money sue and be sued hire employees own assets and pay taxes right so so here we can understand the corporation right then different type of corporation exist actually the business purpose of the corp, uh, you know corporation and uh, then manner in which the corporation incomes is taxed the number of shareholders and amount of stock to be issued whether the corporation is incorporated to make a profit right so these are the type of uh, corporation that one is business organization then corporation like close corporation control corporations cooperative corporation foreign corporations non profit corporation private corporations professional corporation public corporation corporations in general so the here the advantages and the disadvantages are been discussed of corporation one is ability to acquire additional capital transferable ownership rights limited liability of stockholders virtually uh, unlimited liability life large pool of human capital disadvantages is heavily regulated by the government double taxation not easy to form more expensive to form than sole proprietorship and partnership okay hey. then the cooperative comes in the picture that cooperative is a duly registered association which common board of interest uh, who have voluntarily <coughs> excuse me join together to achieve a lawful common social economic and making equitable contribution to the capital required and accepting a fair share of risk and benefiting the undertaking in the accordance with universally accepted cooperative principles in general cooperative can be understood as an autonomous association of persons united voluntarily to meet their common economic social and cultural needs and aspirations through a jointly owned and democratically control enterprise right cooperative or democratic control by their members you know democratically controlled by their members with each members having one vote in electing the board of directors right so uh, if 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 i'll say, if i'll precisely say that cooperatives may include the businesses owned and managed by the people who consume their goods or services then businesses where uh, producers pool their uh, you know output for their common benefit then businesses owned and managed by the people who work there's a worker cooperative then purchasing cooperative there are a lot of cooperatives we can go through under that right here yeah. the like credit cooperative what do credit cooperative means it's promote and undertake the saving and the lending services among its members then consumer cooperative its primary purpose is to uh, you know uh, procure and distribute commodities to members and the non members right and then producers cooperatives it basically undertakes a joint productions Uh, with the agricultural or industrial then marketing cooperative service cooperatives multi purpose cooperative advocacy cooperative agrarian reform cooperative cooperative bank dairy cooperatives education cooperative electric cooperative financial services so these are the different types of cooperatives so we have discussed the forms of organizations okay thank you class